was the night before Christmas, and all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang out of my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash. And what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples so merry. His cheeks were like roses, his, his nose like a cherry. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump a right jolly old elf and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself he spoke not a word went straight to his work filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk then laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose he sprang to his sleigh to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down on a thistle but I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Christmas, 1943. I'd had a couple of belts, so I was sleeping pretty heavy. When I heard a thud on the roof, it woke me up. I went downstairs. The house was quiet, too quiet. I opened the front door, nothing. I heard something behind me, I turned around. There's this heavy guy coming down the chimney through the fireplace, dressed in red. Thought he might be a Ruski. I pulled my rod on him. Freeze, fat man. He turned and looked at me. He had an old face. He'd been around, you could tell that. Nick's the name, he said. And he took out a peppermint stick and stuck it in my mouth. I thought I was in a dream. I looked back at him, gone. I searched downstairs, no Nick. I went upstairs. There he was at my dresser drawer. He was in my sock drawer, stuffing my socks with candy and sweets. I thought he must be some kind of freak, hophead. What's the idea, bub? He smiled at me and he said, happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. For somehow, not only at Christmas, but all the long year through, the joy that you give others is the joy that comes back to you. This year, I've been fortunate enough to work with some of the finest people in the world and been loved by a wonderful family. This Christmas Noir film has been made for you in hopes that your holiday season and new year are filled with many laughs, family, and friends. Stay in touch.